Good morning. I will do awards this year. Person of the Year Award, for instance. You know, I should do this every year. It should be a tradition. And if you want, you can nominate people for this award. It should be somebody who contributed to sanity. Of course, there's so many of them, so many good people, right, that we saw in 2023. I don't have the award ready. I will have to find something nice to give them, you know. I will also do a list. Maybe I did one last year. Most pathetic, evil, dangerous, asshole politician of the year. Something like this. Maybe top 10 or something. And again, you can nominate people for this list if you want. But it will be my personal list, of course. And for this, I have an award ready. See, I already picked an award. It's great, isn't it? You're gonna love this one. I'll show it to you. It's right here. There it is. So this is the award for the most pathetic, evil, asshole politician of the year. Oh. Don't you think that that person will love this? Beautiful. I will also do Evil Human of the Year. That's right. So, this will come later. I thought about this year, 2023, and I thought the most entertaining story for me, personally, to tell. And one story came up immediately. It's the story about Dan Andrews. You now, he was the premier of Victoria in Australia. And he treated people like crap, especially the purebloods. Right? Terrible. And then he resigned, which was a good story in, in itself. But then this happened. He wanted to join a golf club, this posh golf club in Melbourne. And members in the golf club, they took action to stop the membership for him, you know, stop him from becoming a member. <laughs> I think this was the best story in 2023. I, I can just imagine his reaction when he understands this, you know. Oh shit, these people, they don't want me as a member. You know? I, I love this story. Also, you know, great things happened. 2023 was a great year. I think the best thing, really, was that the truth came out. You know, all these lawsuits and all these people who, you know, protesting and, and people talking about what happened with the needle. You know. And people understand that people died and you know, all this stuff that is coming out. This is the best part of 2023. I mean, that's what I think. And it's going to continue. You know, people are not letting this go. Uh, it's great. Oh, well, it's too big, it's too bad, you know. And they cannot let this uh, get away. They can't get away with this. That's the thing. So, uh, that's what I like the most about 2023. So they are trying to divert the attention to attention to something else. They do, of course. It doesn't seem to work. People just come back to this thing that happened. You know? We are not forgetting. We are not forgiving this. Uh, I like this very much. Finally, I want to tell you this story that I saw this morning. This is from the UK. It's from Edinburgh, actually. So researchers from the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology in Edinburgh, uh, led by Dr. Nicholas Cohen, he took in people to test them and they, he was looking at gases from people. That's right. And he found out there were 104 of them that came to do this, people, volunteers, 104 people came to this place and they checked their gases. You know? 
and they found out that gases make up 0.1% of the country's greenhouse gas emissions. And the guy said this, we urge caution in the assumption that emissions from humans are negligible. Well, I have some thoughts about this. First of all, you know, somebody must have paid for this research to be done, right? That's the first thing. And I thought, so what would be the solution? Another thing that I like about it, really, is that, you know, the cows and the moose, they have been blamed for this. Not the breathing and the farting, right? But now they are looking at the humans too. Which is sort of good, I think. You know. It's fair. <laughs> no, because people, of course, breathe and fart too, right? Including people like Rockefeller and you know, Bill Gates and Al Gore. You know. I bet you Al Gore, he's breathing and farting a lot, for instance, you see? So uh, I think it's fair <laughs> to the moose and the cows, you see? But then I was thinking about solutions. What would be the solution? Well, I think they can start with uh, taxing beans. <laughs> you know, there should be an extra tax on beans. And then I thought, what about big people? You know, big people, they breathe more, don't they? And they fart more because they eat more, you know? So maybe they want to reduce the size of people now. Or maybe tax the big people, something. Now you're too big, you need to pay extra taxes, something like this. I mean, compare Al Gore, for instance, it's a big guy, isn't he? Compare him to a midget. You know, he's breathing and farting more than midgets and children. You know. It should be a tax. And maybe they will try to reduce the size using blockers so that we get a population of small people. Maybe we should all be like midgets, see? I was thinking about different solutions. So, that's all. Be good.